Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I'm super excited because I have been up to trouble and that means shopping. So I am very excited because I have a makeup haul today. Uh, for the past week or two weeks, I've been doing a little bit of shopping, exploring, trying some different makeup on, and I'm so excited to share it with you. And not only that, I'm going to make a second video using a full face of makeup that I bought on this haul. I'm very excited to show it to you guys. I'm very excited to do this. Um, and I don't know what else to say other than we should get started because there is a lot to go through. So quickly guys, one last thing before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Just a reminder that I have a giveaway going on. Once we reach a thousand followers, there will be a giveaway to one of my lucky subscribers with all these beautiful beauty products that they're going to be able to receive. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up to the videos if you are enjoying them. Leave comments down below so I can interact with you guys. Be sure to check out my other social media handles as well so you can see what's going on. Keep up to date with me and make sure to sign up for notifications for when my next video drops. So for my makeup haul, I went to a few different places. I of course visited Sephora because how can somebody stay away from that place for far, far too long? I also went to Shoppers Drug Mart as well as London Drugs. And I think there might be a product or two in here from Walmart as well. So you guys, I will list all the products down below and I will list where you can purchase them yourself. If you're interested in purchasing purchasing them. All that will be in the comments down below. First thing I have you guys, I'm super excited to try out. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Coverage Powder Foundation. So I have heard about this from everywhere, but mostly TikTok, of course. And I was so excited to see that there, there was one left in stock when I was at London Drugs, and I wasn't even sure it was my color, but I grabbed it and I thought we will make it work. So the color that I have is 220 Sand. And I'm really excited to try this powder. I've heard lots of different great things about it and I feel like it is going to work perfectly, especially for the summer. So guys, I'm super excited to try this out. I am going to definitely be using this really soon, and I've never used a foundation powder before other than a long time ago when I didn't really know anything about makeup. And so I'm really excited to kind of jump back into it and see how this one goes. Speaking of foundations, I do have another foundation here and it is the NYX Total Control Foundation. This was on clearance because NYX has changed this product and so the old ones were on sale and I was super excited about that because I don't believe this was more than $6 whereas the new ones are selling for $20, $22 and I have to be honest with you guys, I tried this foundation already and and I am in love with it. If you have not tried the NYX Total Control Foundation, you definitely should. It is in dropper form, you guys. So it's really cool. And once I tried this foundation and realized how much I loved it, I had to go out and buy more of them because like I said, they've changed the formula. Uh, somehow I'm not exactly sure what they changed, but I do have a bunch of different colors and I'm really excited because these are going to last me for a good long time. The one that I have tried is in the color Classic Tan and then I have two more and they are in the colors Light and Alabaster. So you guys... I can't say enough good things about this foundation. I feel like it is really great coverage 
and it just blends in really nicely to the skin and I feel like it leaves my skin looking flawless. So be sure to go give it a try. I'm sure the new formula for the NYX Total Control is also great and I will uh, be wanting to check that out too because who knows, maybe it's even better. But you guys, I highly recommend this foundation. It is awesome. While I was at London Drugs, I also ran into the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Primer, and I was excited to try this out. I haven't heard anything about this primer, but I love trying out new items, and I did notice when I opened it that it actually does have a little bit of color to it. So I am curious to see if it does leave a, leave a little bit of tint on the skin or if it just blends in clear. When I'm rubbing it on my hand, it does just look like it kind of gives a little bit of a glow, no color to it, but I'm excited to try the Photo Focus Primer as well. All right, so this is not makeup related, but it is beauty related. This is for my hair. This is Olaplex and it's Bond Smoother. The Bond Smoother is a leave-in reparative styling cream. So I don't know about you guys, but I feel like my hair always has a whole bunch of flyaways in it and I like to tame that and control that. And a lot of the times that's from breakaways for when you're blow drying your hair, straightening it, curling it. And so I thought this Bond Smoother would be really good to try out. You guys, I know nothing about hair, so if I'm wrong and you know a product I have to try to stop flyaways, let me know in the comments, please, because I need to try that. All right, moving on to my next product. I got this from Shoppers Drug Mart. This is Aveen, and it is a sunscreen, but it's a tinted mineral fluid. So it's 50 SPF and it says that it is a very high protection, but it also gives you a tint. So in those summer days when you're not wanting to wear a full face of foundation, my girlfriend suggested this to me and I am super excited to try it. One of the comments was that it is a little bit sticky on the skin though. Um, and I, I have felt that once you kind of just test it out and rub it in. But um, the way to fix that, finish it with a setting powder, you guys. So it leaves a very subtle color, but it's definitely tinted. That will be really nice for summertime when you already have color on your skin and you just need that little bit more glow and really easy to use in the morning. And of course it has sunscreen, which is very important for your face and your body as well. So this product, I'm very excited to start using, especially when that weather gets nicer. Luckily the snow is done, hopefully for good. It's beautiful out today, the sun is shining. So we should be able to put this to good use really soon. Speaking of tinted moisturizers, I kind of went on a little bit of a spree. When I was at Sephora, I love checking out the sample aisle when you're waiting at the checkout, just because being somebody that likes to try so much makeup, it sometimes is not beneficial to have the full size package. A lot of the times the sample sizes are more than enough and it's a good way to spend not as much money but being able to check out the products. And then of course if you use it and you love it and you want it, you can go buy the full size after that. So while I was waiting in line at Sephora for some of the products that I did buy that I will show you, I did see this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer and I wanted to try it. This is a nice go-to that still is giving you that coverage on your skin. It's just not so full coverage. And the color of this tinted moisturizer is in Nude. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of different tinted moisturizers on my hand here. <laughs> this one is a little bit lighter in color here. And then we just rub it in. And yeah, I feel like that one actually gives a nice glow too. If you can kind of see a little bit of a shine maybe, like a highlight. But I'm really excited to give this a try as well. 
any of the products that you guys see here that you want to see me testing in a video, please comment down below. Like I said, I'm more than willing to test out these products on video for you guys and let you know my opinion, how I feel about them. I'm just going to wipe off my hands, you guys, with a makeup remover just to clean them off because we have so many more products coming up and I need more room to sample them for you guys and swatch them for you guys. So the last tinted cream is from Bare Minerals. So again, this I saw on TikTok. I got pulled into it and this is actually a tinted hydrating gel cream. So I'm really excited to try this out. I heard really good reviews about this product and I am in the color Birch. So this is the tinted moisturizer here and then I'm just gonna kind of put that on the skin and rub it in and test it out. So this one whoop, is definitely lighter but I feel like that gives good coverage and that makes it look flawless. I feel like my hand looks shiny and new. Weird enough to say, but that's what I feel like. And it's really interesting because this is a gel moisturizer. So it should be interesting to see what that feels like on the face. Okay, <clears throat> so the reason why I first went to Sephora was also my girlfriend's fault. She told me I have to try this concealer. So this concealer is from Nude Stick and she said it is amazing, especially to go along with that Avene tinted SPF. And so, of course, I had to run out and get it. When you hear amazing reviews about a product, you have to try it out. And I have to let you know, I have tried the product since I purchased it, and I do love this concealer. I feel like a lot of concealers are really obvious on me that I have them, and I feel like usually I wouldn't even wear concealers, honestly, because they get so caked up under my eyes. I do have um, quite a bit of wrinkles under my eyes, and so I find that the concealer often gets stuck in those wrinkles, no matter how much setting powder I use, no matter what concealer I use, but I thought I would give this a try because it was so highly recommended by my girlfriend and I love it. It doesn't catch in my wrinkles, in the creases. Um, it blends right into my skin perfectly. So that is the concealer there. And then basically just for a quick look in the mornings, you can just dab it in with your hand or you can use a beauty blender as well. And I feel like it just lighten and brightens your under eyes and covers any redness that you have on your face or imperfections and it looks beautiful. Another thing that got me while I was waiting in line at the checkout at Sephora, which actually isn't even true because there was no lineup, I just wanted to check out all the sample sizes before I checked out because as I said, it's one of my favorite spots to check out new products. I ran into the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. So I grabbed a sample size of this, you guys, to give it a try. I've never actually used an eyeshadow primer before. I've always just either used my concealer or foundation that I've already had on my face and put it up on my eyelids as well. But I felt like it was worth a try to check it out, especially with me um, doing these videos. I feel like People say that eyeshadow primer makes the colors more defined and just those eyes pop a lot better. So I wanted to give that a try. And this also is just a wand and you basically just apply that to your eyelid and then you can just tap it, tap it in with your fingers and then apply your eyeshadow. All right, so I feel like I really lucked out on this makeup haul because I got another concealer that I also fell in love with. So finding two in this small period of time, I am super excited about that. And this concealer is the Stay Matte Rimmel Soft Matte. And my concealer is in the color Vanilla. 
So also with this concealer, I could say the same thing as I did with the nude stick. I feel like this just blends into my skin and it's not extremely noticeable that you have concealer on, um, unlike other concealers that I've tried and I feel like it enhances my look rather than draws attention to my flaws. Moving on to mascara, I did find a mascara at London Drugs that I wanted to try and it is the L'Oreal Paris Air Volume Mega Mascara. Really excited because it has a nice thick wand and I love having thick full lashes so I'm excited to give this one a try. I have two Becca products so of course I heard that they are no longer producing merchandise that they're not going to be available anymore and I had never tried Becca products but I have seen so many people upset that this brand is no longer going to be available so I thought I really wanted to grab some things and try them before I can't get them at all anymore. So I did get a highlighter because I've heard great things about their highlighter and I did get a bronzer as well because I feel like my bronzer stash is very small. Packaging for these are so cute. They just look really modern and this bronzer is called a Panama Sun and I'm really sorry if I'm getting that wrong but I think that's what it's called. So just opening this up here and it's a beautiful bronzer. It definitely has some shimmer to it and I'm very excited to use this product. So that's the color. I swatched quite a bit so that looks pretty dark there. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand for you guys. So that is the bronzer there. I feel like that is going to look so good with sun-kissed skin. Um, I'm a huge fan of the sun and summer and the heat. And so I can't wait to work on my tan. And this is going to enhance my look even better. So that is beautiful. Moving on to the Becca highlighter. Let's see, so the casing is exactly the same, just a different colored top here. And the highlighter is called Champagne Pop. So that looks like it is going to be flawless. Absolutely beautiful. I feel like the highlighter on my nose could definitely use a touch up, so I'm actually just gonna grab a brush and jump in here because I am excited to see this product and how it works. I already have highlighter on my cheeks as you can see, but we're just gonna enhance it a little bit because I really am excited to try these products and I'll just swatch this highlighter for you too here. So that's it on the finger. Wow, that, that's gorgeous. That is a great combination summer look, if you ask me, and I'm definitely gonna put those two together for a look very, very soon and probably very, very often. <laughs> All right, so I am going to finish up with my last product from Sephora. I'm not done the makeup haul, just done the stuff from Sephora. And this is called the Cheek Party from Benefit. I found this and I love Benefit's products so much. I know I've already mentioned that once or twice in previous videos, but I was so excited to see this because this gives me a chance to try out five different products for $40. Usually a normal size um, blush, highlighter, or bronzer package from Benefit is probably at least $30 to $40, I think. That's just kind of a guesstimate. If you know Benefit, you know they're a little bit pricey. And so this is really exciting because I get to try five of them for $40. I'm just going to read them to you guys. So there's California, and that is a golden pink blush. There's Hula, which is a bronzer. I love that bronzer. I use it all the time. It's a matte bronzer. There's Dandelion, and that's a baby pink 
brightening powder and I feel like you could also use that for a blush as well. There's Dallas and that is a new shade apparently and it is a rosy bronze blush. And last but not least is another new shade and that is called Georgia and that is a golden peach blush. This is beautiful. I've definitely worn a few of these before and I love the sparkle in them, the shimmer in them, and just how beautiful the colors are. And something else that's really cool about these is they all smell different, but they smell amazing. If you've never tried products from Benefit, you really should. I love Benefit so much. My favorite mascara is from Benefit, but also, like I said, one of my favorite bronzers and blush and highlighter. I just love Benefit. Moving on, everything else that I purchased is from London Drugs. One of the first things I found was also in the clearance section and it's the L'Oreal Paris Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator. So this is a blush and a highlighter and it has four different sections here. And I thought for the price, how could you say no? and you have to try it out. Bought too many products, not possible. <laughs> but I have more things that I have to swatch and show you guys what I bought. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I, of course, love these videos because it means that I get to try different makeup, try on different things, um, and sometimes things I've never even heard of. You just kind of go walk around the makeup aisle and something pops out to you. Up next is a bronzer duo, and this is from Moira. And this is called Golden Rays Bronze Goddess Duo. So those are the colors here. One of them obviously has a shimmer to them and one of them is a matte. There's the two bronzers right there. So the next item I got is another bronzer. It is Wet and Wild Bronzer and the color is Ticket to Brazil. We we're just gonna swatch that right here for you guys. So yeah, so that is very light. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but I do feel like it gives a nice coverage and a nice kind of golden bronze. All right, so the next two things I have are from Profusion, and I've never tried any products from Profusion, but these two products that I'm about to show you were on a clearance as well, and they were each less than $10, and I didn't know how to say no. Perhaps I have a problem. I don't know. I don't think so because it's too much fun, but this Profusion highlighter palette looked super cute and I wanted to give it a try. So it comes with four different shades of highlighter and also a brush here. Okay, so there's the darker highlighter and there's the lighter highlighter right there. Those are absolutely stunning. And you guys, like I said, this highlighter was on clearance. I think honestly for $7, but for sure less than $10. How can you say no to that? That highlighter palette is gonna last so long. There's so much product in there and those colors are beautiful. I am so excited for that palette, you guys. I cannot wait. I really hope you're enjoying this video. It's always exciting to kind of share the new products that I'm getting and then it can give me ideas for future videos as well. So next up we have something from e.l.f. and this is the bronzer palette. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this or not, but like I said, I just wanted to increase my bronzers uh, just so I had more options as well. But I do have their blush palette just like this and some of the colors are a little bit off for me, but this is their bronzer palette here. So it does come with four different colors and I feel like they all will be very usable for me. Okay, you guys, two more things. 
One of the last things I'm gonna show you is from Rimmel and it's the Maxi Blush. And this is in the color Wild Card. So a lot of the blushes I have, like the ones from Benefit, I find have a lot of shimmer or shine to them. And that kind of mixes in with the highlighter when you're putting it on and you don't always want like super, super shiny. So I wanted to get some matte blushes that didn't bring any shine or shimmer to them, just strictly color. And so I thought I would try out this blush right here. It's a nice dark blush. I feel like it'll bring out my cheeks really nicely. So that's the blush right there. I'm definitely excited to try that one out, you guys. I went out of order a little bit because I was talking about my two Profusion products and I jumped in with my blush, but that's just because I wanted to leave this eyeshadow palette for last because I wanna swatch a bunch of different colors in here for you guys. If you saw my Instagram or my Snapchat or my Facebook stories in the past week and a half, I have tried a few different looks with this palette, but I thought it's kind of out of my comfort zone and that made me wanna buy it and also so as I said before, it was on clearance. This was also, I believe about $10 and it comes with 21 different colors. So how can you pass that opportunity up? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet because the palette is at home here with me. So this palette is called Dancing Queen. Here are the colors. As you can see, I have definitely put some of them to good use already. I am usually not a super bright colored girl, especially in like the blues and the greens. That's not usually my comfort zone or where I would go with working a uh, look on my eyeshadow, but I thought I need to step out of my box and try something different. And so with this $10 palette, how can you not end this video? I just want to swatch a few of these eyeshadows for you. So some of the ones that scare me are what I'm going to swatch for you. Okay, so that is beautiful and it also makes me nervous because that is very, very drastic and dramatic, but I feel like a beautiful look could come out of that. Blue, it's a little bit brighter, bolder. So that's that blue there, called at sea. So that fits perfectly. There's that green color right there, turquoise color. And this is called Inhale, it almost looks white. So there's Inhale right there. And the last color I'm gonna show you is this pinky rose color and it's called Flirty. Right here, you guys. That's a much more subtle, that's a little bit more in my comfort zone. That's a little bit more subtle of a color, also beautiful, and I love a good shimmer. Woo! Okay, you guys, that is everything that I bought, I hope. I'm pretty sure it's everything that I bought. I am so excited to try these products, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching again. Um, thank you for sticking with me. I just appreciate that you guys like to come on here, listen to what I have to say, hear my opinions about these things, and also recommendations from you guys. So once again, you guys, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Give the video a big thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave comments down below. Which one of these products do you want to see me use? Like I said, you guys, the next video that I'm gonna do is actually gonna come up really, really soon here. And it's going to be a full face of these products that I bought. So I'm super excited to try that out with you guys. Please make sure to turn on your notifications so you get notified when my my next video is uploaded. Be sure to check me out on all the other social media platforms, you guys. I have been playing around with TikTok. It has been so much fun reaching out to you guys. I love you. I appreciate the support that you have given me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys and have a wonderful night.